my channel. Today I am at Salvation Army and it is dumping rain out. Like it is pouring today and it's like a block away at the Salvation Army and I didn't bring a rain jacket or umbrella so I'm I'm gonna get soaked. Like it's like I'm gonna take a shower out there. It's raining so bad so not looking forward to that but I am looking forward to the Salvation Army today because there's actually a sale today. It is 50% off the women's wear, the jewelry, and the shoes, the shoes. <laughs> I'm so excited for today. I'm gonna be going to, I think, four today. Hopefully I can get to four today, but that's the plan. We're going to a whole bunch of Salvation Armies and see what I find today. But right now, I'm just kind of delaying because <laughs> I don't want to get in this rain. It's raining so bad, but I, I have to. So let's just go thrifting and see what I find today. It's raining, it's raining out here. Okay, so I went through all of the pants and jackets and there was nothing really there worth like showing you. So I didn't show you anything, but I'm here in the sweaters now. And look at this, look at this. It's actually a Danier. I know someone <laughs> said, I said Danier, I think in one of my videos. And yeah, that doesn't make sense. I didn't know it was a French one. So it's actually pronounced Danier, like someone told me. And that makes sense, but I found this one. This one is $6.99. So I think I'll put this in my cart. We'll see what else I have. What is this right here? Mm, don't really know what that is. It's kind of like um, a poncho almost. This one looks kind of cute. It's like a t-shirt almost, but it's like a knit material. But I do have some zebra now. I don't know if I want to get like a crazy amount of zebra, so I might pass on this one. Why do I kind of like this shirt? <laughs> it's like ugly, but it's also really cool. Look at this guest shirt I just found. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It has like pearls all over it. That's insane. And it's only $2. That's a pretty good deal, I would say. Also, these racks are like it's really hard to like look at everything just because there's so much on each rack. Are these apples? Yeah, they look exactly like the Apple logo. That is so strange. Look at this shirt I just found. It's a Zara shirt and that's cute. It's a little dirty as you can see, but I think I can just get that clean. So I'm gonna add that to my cart. Or my basket. Ooh, this one's fancy too. Look at that, I like that. I'm gonna just hold on to it. I don't know how that would look on me, but I'm very intrigued by that pattern going on there. So it's really hard to film in here because it is so tiny and so squished and there's just people in here. It's just like really hard to film. So I didn't really get to film much, but I have like a full basket here of stuff. So, and there's also no mirror. So I'm just gonna stand here and awkwardly try them on. And we're not really, you know, just hold them up and see if it'll work in the corner here because there's, there's no mirror also. So it's kind of an awkward location awkward location but i found some good stuff so it's pretty good i don't know how i feel about this dress i like it but i also am It is raining so bad out there. I just ran from the store and I'm already soaked, but um, not amazing in there. It was so cramped and so tight. It was so hard to film in there. So I am so sorry that I wasn't able to really film much in there, but hopefully at the next stores, it won't be very busy. I'm hoping so. I filmed uh, before in other stores before, so it should be fine. But yeah, um, I only ended up getting two items. I ended up getting a sweater vest and a dress. The sweater vest wasn't on sale, but the dress was. So I think I spent like $15, but yeah. Nothing crazy in there, nothing too exciting. So I'm hoping the next stores are a bit better. <laughs> there it is, the next one right there. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna start off in this random section right here of just coats and stuff, and then I'm gonna make my way over throughout the rest of the store. Too bad this is a men's jacket because it is a beautiful coat and it's $50, so it'd only be $25 if it was women's, but men's is not on sale, unfortunately. 
Look how beautiful this vintage tag is. Look at that, it's so beautiful. It's like this nice vintage leather jacket here. I don't know how much it is. It looks like the tag's missing. But there's also this beautiful jacket right here too. So many nice coats here, look at that. It's beautiful and it'd only be $20. Found a brand new Carl Lagerfeld, Lagerfeld? I forgot, Lagerfeld, I'm pretty sure. You know the guy that was the, or is the designer for Chanel? He has his own brand too and this is only for $15, so that's a pretty good deal. And there's also this puffer here that looks nice. It's a nice puffer and only $20. Okay, so far I found one thing. It's this vintage coat here, which is really cute. It is 25, so it'll only be 12.50. So I thought that was a good deal. So I'll have to try this on. It might be a little small, but I need to find a cart now now that I actually have an item. Look at this, 100% silk, this dress. Look at that. I don't know if I want to get it, but it's a lot of, you know, a lot of cheetah going on, but I can't resist this. 100% silk for $4, so. My cart is getting full just because it's like all coats in here, but I don't have that many things, trust me. Look at this vintage romper. It looks like a dress in the front, but really, it's actually shorts. Look at this. And it's only $7.99, so it'd be $4 again. Look at this basket. Oh no, it has rips here. Oh, that's disappointing, but it's such a cute rattan basket. How much is it? Is it $9.99? Really? Is it $10? Yeah, it's $10 and it's actually broken there. Oh, that's disappointing. I was 100% going to get that, except it's broken and it's $10. So I'm going to leave that. Ooh, I like this. I like this for your keys. That's really cute. It's $3.99. For some reason, there's no mirrors in this store either, so I don't know how I'm gonna like try this stuff on here or just like even hold it up to see how it looks. So this is gonna be difficult, especially because everything that you buy that's on sale is final sale. So I can't return it even if I go home, try it on, and I don't like it. So hmm, this is quite the difficult thrift trip today. I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm gonna start to go through this whole thing of clothes here and not try them on or hold them up to a mirror. And I'm just gonna guess to see what will look nice and not be able to return it. a fight in there to be honest um <laughs> this guy tried to come in and he didn't have a mask and the lady was um not not having it she was not having it she she was yelling at him telling him get out this little lady she was she was a beast to be honest she was a beast she didn't touch him or fight or anything like that she was just yelling at him to get out but he was homeless and he didn't have a mask on so that's why he couldn't come in because you need a mask and it's serious it's serious you have to be super safe and i felt bad because all he wanted was a blanket because he was homeless and he was cold and he couldn't come in because he didn't have a mask so i don't it's it's so tough that situation like obviously you have to be super super cautious and follow the rules because it's mandatory to wear a mask in any building or like any public kind of building or shopping or retail anything like that you have to wear a mask so the rules are because it's the safety of everyone else but then again it's like you feel bad for those people you know they just need a mask so they can go in and get a blanket from the salvation army so yeah that happened but we're gonna go to the next store nothing bad happened luckily but yeah sometimes things happen so let's hope nothing happens at the next store. There's some clothes out here, so I'll quickly look here. Just joking, I'm too cold, I'm going in. Oh, doesn't look too busy, that's a good sign. This looks cute actually. It's a nice little leather bag. This is really cute, this skirt. I could hem it and make it a mini skirt. That'd be cute for summer. I wonder how much it is. It'd be three dollars. That's such a good deal. Is it like vintage? It feels vintage. Let's see. Ooh, 
Look at that. I, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it's a cool tag. Only this coat was a long version. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Look at this. Look at the sleeves. Look at the collar. It's so beautiful. I just have to be real with you guys. I'm starving. Like, I'm legit starving. And it's really hard to thrift when you're really hungry. So, um, I might just be kind of quick in here in this thrift store and then go get something to eat and then you know hopefully finish strong at the last one because my stomach's like not happy with me like it's really angry right now look how beautiful this picture is look at it i want to get it but i would never use it and it's so heavy it's it's incredible uh, i want it so badly but i would never use it okay i i suck <laughs> i'm so hungry I rushed through that thrift store so fast and hardly looked at anything just because I'm just so hungry. I didn't really get a chance to go through everything, but I found two things, two really amazing things. So that's good enough for me. Two things is pretty good considering that I'm going to like a lot of thrift stores today. So I need to take a break <laughs> I need to go get some food and then I'll be refueled for the last thrift store. And hopefully that one's a good one because last time I went there, it wasn't very good, so I don't, I don't know what to expect. Okay, I actually lied. Um, I drove here to the next one hoping that there'd be some food on the way, but there wasn't, so I'm just gonna go into the thrift store and do this one quickly and just do like a little speed thrifting just because I've been thrifting for so many hours now. I think I've been thrifting for 11, 12, 1, 2, 4 hours already now, so um... I think I need to wrap this up. I think I'm gonna do like a quick like 30 minute thrift sesh and then I'm gonna head home. So let's just go in and then I'll get some food. Okay, so this Salvation Army is kind of underground from what I can remember. It's it's an odd one actually. Um, I didn't do very well last, last time I went here, like I mentioned last time. Um, but I don't know, last time I went was like a boxing day sale. So there was like two days of 50% off. And I think I went on the second day, so that's why I didn't do very well, but maybe do better today. I don't know. Gotta have a little bit of hope. I've been doing super, super well so far, like this whole time, so I don't know. I've gotten something at every single thrift store, so that's like kind of like a, a bonus. So I'm just gonna be optimistic and say this one's gonna be a good one. Okay, out of all those clothes in there, I ended up finding this jacket, which I will try on and see if it fits. But I just gonna quickly look at the shoes here because they are also 50% off today, which is kind of nice. But unfortunately, I just haven't even found one pair of shoes yet at all of the thrift stores I've been to. It's very disappointing. But then again, I am like so picky with shoes. I like rarely find them at the thrift store because I am so picky. And I like said this like a billion times, that shoes are just hard to fit on my feet, so. I'm not that surprised that I haven't found a pair today. Just more like disappointed that I didn't find a pair on a 50% off day. Another thing I haven't really found today is also purses. There hasn't been any good gems here, at, or not here and at other stores. It's just, it's lacking. Today was pretty successful. I would say it's pretty successful. Out of the four stores, I ended up getting stuff from three of them, so I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna call it a day for thrifting and I'm gonna go get some food. <laughs> I'm starving now, but yeah, I didn't find anything there, unfortunately, but it's okay. I found a lot of other stuff today, so I'm excited to show everyone the haul today. And yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to eat too. So I'll see you when I get home. So it's been a few days now, to be honest, after that like 10 hour trek of thrifting at like 500 stores, I was a little bit tired so I didn't film right after the haul, so I'm here a few days later filming the haul here and the haul here, actually there, right here, all this stuff. So I'm going 
excited to show you what I got. I got some good deals. I also got some bad deals. AKA I spent a lot of money on some items that probably shouldn't have been that much, but I'm not going to give you my opinion on first store prices. I'll just tell you the prices because I don't think anybody wants to hear my opinion if something is expensive or not. So let's finally get into the haul because I'm talking too much again. <laughs> Item number one is this sweater vest that I found in the men's section. So it wasn't on set. I think this is the only thing I bought that was. No, I bought something else in the men's section. But usually I haven't been doing very well in the men's section at the Salvation Army, so I'm kind of surprised I found two it. But anyways, that's a little bit off topic, so it fits nice. I do like this little v-neck thing and the stripes here. I, I just really like it. It's like this nice navy. It also has like a really nice pattern on it. I think it's great. Next one is this green cardigan that I found. And I am just so obsessed with this green color right now. So every time I see something green, I just buy it. Pretty soon my whole house, my whole wardrobe, everything is gonna be green. And now that I try this on, it's a little bit itchy and I have a sweater underneath too, like a turtleneck underneath and I still feel it. What the heck? But it, it is kind of cute though, like look at this. Like I don't feel it that much, so like it'd be fine if I wore this, like I'm just being like super super picky, but I don't know, do I suffer and just to like look cute, do I just like be like whatever, I'm not itchy even though like I might be a little itchy and just like ignore it, because then eventually you will not feel it anymore, like if you just get used to it, so I could do that, but then maybe I won't wear it because it's itchy, so I'll never want to put it on. Ugh. The next item I got was this Carhartt one. I couldn't believe it when I found it. This is the other men's item I found. And I've been wanting one of these jackets for so long. You don't even know. Like, I just think they're incredible. It's like a nice, like, wool inside. And I think it's pretty incredible. This one was $21.99, I believe. And I think that's fair. Okay, I wasn't even giving my opinion, but to be honest, I think that's fair because every time I've seen these, they've been super expensive for some reason, which I don't know how much they are regularly. So I'm going to have to look that up, see how much they actually cost. Next one is this coat. Oh my goodness, I've already worn it in a few Instagram videos. To be honest, I knew I was going to keep it the minute I found it, even though I did have some like mental debate like should you get it you don't need another coat it's kind of expensive but it's kind of not it's a little big but i kind of like the oversized fit so now i actually have to take some clothes off because i have a dress a skirt and a romper to try on so let's let's get the least amount of clothes off first so let's try this skirt which i i don't think it's gonna fit because i really wanted to thrift flip this to make it a little bit shorter so this is just gonna look not very nice so don't judge a book by its cover when you're judging the skirt it's something else um i don't think i'm gonna keep it like this i think it would look cute if it was a little bit shorter maybe 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 not that short but like here like that length probably be cute so i'm thinking i'm just gonna hem it shorter and i'm kind of surprised that it fits pretty good in the waist. I have it tucked in if it's nice, but I might take it in a little bit at the hips, the lips, the lips, <laughs> the hips are a little, a little big here. So I think I might just take it in at the hips a little bit and yeah, shorten it. And I think Bob's your uncle. Hopefully you can see this now. Here is the dress. It's so pretty, but the only thing is that it's just tight right here on my rib cage just because I have big ribs for some reason and no boobs so it's really hard for you know bras and tops to fit me just because I'm just so unevenly proportioned so it's like really tight in here as you can see it's, it's tight right here so um I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not just because it doesn't fit amazing so I think I'm gonna exchange it but it looks so pretty like look at this dress isn't it gorgeous? I think it's beautiful and I really like it, but it's just a little tight here. I don't know if I can fix that. Oh no. 
Oh no, no, no. I have been tricked. I honestly have been tricked. I thought this was a romper because it looked like a romper in the back here, this little slip thing, but it's not. It's dress. Oh my goodness. I am upset. I thought this was a romper and I did not check like the crotch to see if it was a romper. So that was my fault because I even mentioned it in the thrift me. I was like, oh, this is so fun because it's like a dress in the front and then like a romper in the back and it's too short. You can like almost see my butt here. It's way too short for me. I'm tall. I feel betrayed. I honestly feel betrayed. That didn't really end very well. I'm very sad that I ended the haul off with something that um, wasn't that amazing and um, definitely is going back to the Salvation Army. I'm going to be exchanging this, but um, other than that, um, I'm pretty happy with everything else I got in the haul. Pretty solid day. It was a fun, you know, thrift with me. Fun thrift haul, so I'm pretty happy with it. So I think it's finally time to do the giveaway for today's video and we're going to be giving away a tote bag. We're giving away another thrift with her thrifting, no, no. This is my thrifting bag. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there, but we're giving away this thrifting tote bag that I designed. I didn't make it, but I designed it. I got it printed locally. It's screen printed. It's like this nice heavy duty tote bag that I created. And I am so excited for these. They are on my website right now. If you want to purchase one, there is free shipping with them right now. So you can go purchase one of these tote bags. Oh, I'm, I'm so proud of these. So we're going to give away one of these today to one lucky winner. So if you want to enter the giveaway, go down to the description and read the instructions there. There you go. So yeah, you can read the instructions there on how to enter the giveaway. And good luck to everyone. It's going to go for 24 hours as usual for my thrifters series. So if you want to win, you got to watch it in the first 24 hours this video and enter in the first 24 hours. So good luck to everyone that enters. Well, anyways, um, that is it. So I hope that you enjoyed today's search with me. And if you did, enter the giveaway. Tell me what item was your favorite today. And also come back tomorrow and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. But come back tomorrow for the last day of Thriftmas. I can't believe it's the last day tomorrow. So come back tomorrow for the giveaways, the thrift with me, the thrift haul, all that fun jazz. But yeah, last day tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>